Are you kidding me? Literally one click. That's actually insane. What I'm about to show you in this video literally changes everything. At least when it comes to like visual effects and stuff. Do you guys remember a couple of months ago I made a video about After Effects beta rotoscope tool? They came out with a pretty insane rotoscope brush tool that uses machine learning to figure out what your subject is and then only analyzes the pixel around what it thinks is the subject. This allows for a much more accurate rotoscope um, and it's a lot less tedious because you have machine learning that can see your subject and follow along with it. The only problem with that is you needed After Effects. And if you're not producing videos all the time, you might not have a subscription to the Creative Cloud. It's definitely not cheap. Maybe you use another editing software like iMovie or even Final Cut. If you wanted to rotoscope something, you'd have to use another piece of software. Or even if you do use After Effects, it can be a very tedious project, even with the new Rotobrush tool. I wanna to show you guys something that completely blew my mind. There is is a software called Runway ML. I've actually been familiar with Runway for a while. Probably over a year ago, there was like a, an AI that would make anybody dance if it, you would give it an input video and an image of you, and it could uh, essentially put the dancing moves onto the image of you. It's a good time. Anyways, all that to say, I've been pretty familiar with Runway ML. Essentially, it is a user interface for running machine learning models. I'm not gonna get into too much of the technical stuff because honestly, I don't really know too much. All I really know is that to run machine learning stuff, you have to do it in like command prompt and Python and it's confusing and way over my head. And Runway ML makes it simple. Anyways, all that to say, they are working on some video tools, which is really interesting because all the tools are going to use AI, or sorry, machine learning. First off, which we are talking about in this video is the green screen effect, or also known as rotoscoping. Let me just show you how insane this is. All right, I got my laptop here, and as you can see, we are just in a web browser. We are in Google Chrome, we're not in any sort of fancy software, because Runway ML runs server side. In other words, it doesn't run on your computer, it runs on their computers. The crazy thing about this is that theoretically, if they designed it to, you could run this on literally anything. From your laptop to a tablet to, to pretty much anything, they would just need to implement the user interface for those devices. Anyways, looking at the website, this is the dashboard, and as you can see right there, green screen beta. And yes, this is a beta. I would only expect for this technology to get better. So let's hop into the editing. So I have a few clips in my library already. This clip was from like a little VFX video I was doing, um, and then these other three clips are just some stock videos. Actually, with these three different clips, I chose them for a specific reason. So the first clip here is this guy walking. I chose this one because I assumed that the model was built off looking at people as the subject, and then I chose the dog as the opposite. It's, it's not a person, it's a dog. And then the third one, this is like the hard one. I'm curious to see how that will do. It is someone biking and there's trees going in front of them. I think that'll be a good test for this green screen effect. So let me just throw in this clip here. So immediately just starts loading the video. Um, then I'm gonna click this plus button and click on the subject. It looks like it needs a little bit more work. So I'm gonna give this a couple more clicks. Okay, it did a pretty good job selecting him. One little thing is between his arm and his torso. I'm gonna use the extrude and I'm just gonna click there. Now that might be a little bit difficult, um, but let's hit preview and see how that looks. So give it a second. And that's pretty impressive. Literally three clicks and we have a very useful mask. It is sticking to him like glue. This wasn't any sort of like pre-processed footage. This was footage that I downloaded and uploaded to their site. That's insane. So if we hit the, uh, if we hit the background switch, we can take a look at our cached images. Like, come on, that is unreal. <laughs> That's so cool. And then if we go to export here, we can like select different things. Yep. You can you could be walking through space if you want. I think these are these are just more like examples that you can see. Realistically, I only want the export alpha channel, and then I would luma mat this in a editing software, whether Premiere or even After Effects. I don't know if you can do that in like iMovie. Um, if you're using another software, you could just use the simple green effect, as we saw earlier, and then if you're using like iMovie, you can key out that green. That's amazing. Uh, so that was literally three clicks and we already have a very impressive mat. Let's try a different clip because maybe maybe this one just worked really well because it was a person. Uh, let's try the dog. All right, so we got the clip of the dog. Uh, the dog turns his head, super cute. All right, and one click. All right, uh, that green is blending with the grass, I can't really tell. Oh, okay, so first frame looking pretty good. Let's hit preview. So this is one click. Look at that. Are you kidding me? 
Literally one click. Just perfect. Like, that's actually insane. Okay, if, say you were doing this in After Effects, what you would do is you would probably put a mask around the body because it's pretty static, and then you would start masking out like the snout and the ears, and you would do it individually. This is if you were doing like a mask roto. That was like the old way of rotoscoping things. You would just use masks. There was no rotoscope tool. It was just keyframing masks. I this, it feels like I'm cheating. I literally just clicked a button and it's done. Okay, may maybe that one maybe that one was too easy an example. The dog the dog's like barely moving. It's it's there's no camera movement. Let's let's try something a little bit harder. Let's go to that bike clip I have. So now we have the bike clip. I'm gonna click on the person. Give it a second. Literally a second. Okay, so first off, I'm very surprised that I clicked the person and it also selected the bike, which is what I wanted it to do. That's insane. I'm just gonna give it another click just to clean it up a little bit more on the basket. Yeah, it's, that's looking pretty good. This one, like, there's a lot of detail, like, between, like, the spokes and, like, little spaces between the bike. I don't expect it to get that detailed. Um, but if this can track behind the trees and as well with her movements, I'm gonna be friggin' impressed. All right, hit preview. No way. Oh. Again, this was just footage that I uploaded. There was no like pre-processing or nothing. This is all happening in practically real time. This is actually insane. This whole video is just gonna be me like freaking out over this this website. All right, near the end there, it's starting starting to lose it. But let's let's just add another keyframe. Like, this is insane. There is nothing that has been this good. You can literally green screen anything without a green screen. Honestly, I don't even know what to say. This just works. It just works. I was. I, I think I was just cutting off the bottom of my screen here, but there are keyframes at the bottom. Uh, so every time you click somewhere, it adds a keyframe. I just wanted to make this video because I love to see where machine learning is taking uh, technology specifically when it comes to like video editing tools. This is really cool to see and I think it has a ton of potential. The only thing that I think it needs is like maybe like a mask refinement settings, but I would assume that those are probably going to come eventually. Now when it comes to pricing for Runway ML, it is currently in beta. It looks like if you want to use this tool right now, you have to sign up for their creator plan, which is $15 a month or annually 144. Now there is a lot more to Runway ML than just this tool, but honestly, I think I need to dive a little bit deeper into this in order for me to tell you about it. I do know it has some potential for like frame interpolation, which is essentially like turning 24 frames per second into like 60 frames per second. That's pretty insane. I mean, when it comes to machine learning, the sky is the limit. There are a lot of effects and things that they could put into their product. Some of them might not have great results at the moment, like some of like the stylized features, but I know with certain machine learning models, you can turn like black and white photos into colored photos, damaged photos into restored photos. You, you, could, uh, you could give a video input and then have a, a source image match the input. There's a lot of potential with machine learning, but typically it's really complicated and I think it's really cool that they are making it simple for you to do. Also, I should mention that the stock footage I used in this video is from Envato Elements. Envato Elements is a great service where you can get stock footage or pre-made elements for your videos. If you are a freelance filmmaker, it is the place to find assets for your videos. I really like it and I highly recommend it. If you are interested, there is a link in my description. It is an affiliate link and you support the channel by signing up. I think the most like basic thing you can do with Roto scoping is clone yourself and then cross places with your clone. So that's why I did. I made a little loop. Check it out. This video probably looks like there's a split screen down the middle, but there isn't. If there were, we wouldn't be able to do this after you. This video probably looks like there's a split screen. That was fun, right? That was, that was, that was pretty fun. It was a good time. All I want to do right now is play video games. It's just like gross and muggy outside and cold. How do I make a living being bad at video games? That's what I want to know. I kind of want to stream, do tricks in Rocket League and, and stream. If you want to watch me on Twitch, there's a link in, link, link, the link in below. Anyways, that is it for this video. I think this is absolutely insane. The fact that you can do all of this just in your web browser is absolutely insane. I think there is huge potential for this. This kind of brings that like professional rotoscoping 
to the regular user. I'd say a lot of professionals kind of like already have their methods built out. They do things the way that they like to do things. But when it comes to content creators like you and I, this is gold. It's awesome. Cool. Okay. I'm done with this video. I want to edit. I want to finish this up. Take a thumbnail. Post it. Yep. Goodbye.